Okay, here, here we are to talk about, um, I think this was direct to TV for um, Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. Oh man, this is this is horrible. I, I thought I, I, if I bought it, I would um, be able to see something like the original Beauty and the Beast, which wasn't a bad movie. Even the remake with Emma Watson was, was pretty good. But this one was, um, this <laughs> that was a live act. That was a real film though. Um, this was horrible. The only thing that made it good was Angela Lansbury reprised her role as um the that big teacup, the biggest one, the one that was in charge. Fortunately, she's not alive anymore, so it was such a treat to hear her voice again. But this was um G-rated. It was seventy-two minutes, but it had so many pr um previews before the movie. It was it was at least eight or nine of them. How why would they do that to people? And they say now you can um, avoid that by paying for ad-free. That's true. But if you don't pay for ad-free, you're going to go through it all over again. Um, they had to have known most people fast-forward through all this. So it's kind of stupid to even put it on the tape. They have some special features, though. Fully remastered. Um, this tape looked horrible because it was from a kid or something. Because um, when I watched it, the quality was so... Trying to see if they put put their name on it on here or anything no they um they must have watched it a million times the quality was pretty dragged down and it looked like it was a little very worn down actually and that's because of that this was only a buck though so it didn't break the bank i wanted to try out all disney stuff that i could um except i think i'm going to try to stay away from stuff such as um you know, like Winnie the Pooh. That's something that I definitely shouldn't get for someone like me. But I, I'll stay away from stuff like that. But um, Beauty and the Beast, um, this could be a, a household thing. Just by the music and, you know, voice kind of stuff. Um, it also had an all-new music video as long as their Christmas pop sensation play at the end. It was a bunch of kids that were three or four girls that were doing some kind of pop thing. Hey, they could have brought on Britney Spears because this was made in, uh, I think it was around the time when she was at, at her top. Or was it 2002? Uh, but no, that was probably not her style of, of music, so they would have never did that. Plus, um, they wouldn't have put up with somebody like that. Not that I'm saying she's a bad person. I'm just saying that you know, it never would have worked out. So um, that's about that. I mean, look at this. I think this had to have been a directed um VHS kind of thing. There's no way that this could have um, been any other way. Bye bye.